Hello! This is going to be one, a little bit of a quick video, and two, a little bit of a impromptu video. As you can see, I am in my car. It is quite warm. It's a warm day today, so I'm going to be baking a little bit, which is partly why this is going to be quick. Partly, I um, have a birthday party to go to that I need to get ready for in like half an hour. So as much as I love to ramble, we're going to have to rein it in a little bit. And we're just gonna get started. So, you got graduation coming up. Or you've already graduated. Speaking as someone who has already graduated from university, um, it can be a pretty intimidating question being asked by yourself, by your parents, by your peers, friends, relatives whom you don't ever really talk to but think they have an opinion on your life. What are you going to do? What's your plan? What's going on with you now that you're out of school? I know when I graduated that was <sighs> a tough question that I didn't know how to answer even if the only person asking that question was me <laughs> and my parents. Uh, let's be real here. But I want to tell you, and this is the whole point of this video, I want to tell you if you don't know what you're doing, it is okay. And that is the whole point of this chat. So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna be chatting a little bit. I want to talk to you about my own experience in a really casual manner, hence my drink. So grab your own drink, sit down, grab a snack, cause we're gonna be having a conversation about life after graduation. I have boba, by the way, and I got a milk tea, like a milk black tea boba. That was a mistake. <laughs> I usually get like brown sugar milk teas, honey milk teas, something a little bit sweeter. And it was mostly for getting 50% or like half sweet. This is my first time getting just a straight up milk tea. It's all right, but I'm not better. But I'm not gonna discount this place. I'm gonna go back and get something else. Something I think I would actually enjoy. So, I have my notes with me. So I wanna give you a little bit of context about my own background and my own experience. Sorry, I keep looking in the little viewfinder. Growing up, I never really knew what I wanted to do. Uh, there were always different career paths I thought I could explore. Some of them include being a dentist. How fucking <laughs> typical being a nutritionist. By the time I reached high school, I thought I wanted to work with animals. Maybe not a vet, because being a vet involves going to medical school, and I'm not going to medical school. I did not go to medical school. I knew at the time I did not want to go to medical school. Um, and then maybe I thought going into conservation because I care about the environment and I care about animals. So I thought, let's marry the two together and be some kind of animal conservationist. I knew I didn't want to work in a zoo because zookeepers don't really get paid that much. And as much as, you know, do what you love, money is also important, unfortunately, in this capitalist society. So I knew that. I went in to university as a biology major, kind of default, but then I knew I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna have to go back to school for whatever I wanna do in biology and I don't wanna do that. And so I switched into fashion after my first year. I knew I was more passionate about fashion. I was still kind of directionless. I didn't know what exactly I wanted to do with that, but I knew I'm gonna love it. There are so many options available for me. So let's just do it. I'll figure it out eventually, right? <laughs> That's kind of what I thought. Spoiler alert, that didn't even end up happening. I knew a lot more of what I didn't want to do compared to what I did want to do, but again, I thought I'll figure it out as I take my classes, as I, you know, get jobs and internships and all that kind of thing. And I did get involved a lot, especially my third and fourth years. So my degree required that I get a retail job for a semester to get that retail experience and to get an internship to broaden your horizons, to put something on your resume, and to get experience. And I got really involved in extracurriculars my last year. I was involved in our 
uh, department's annual fashion show. So I was really busy. Like I had a job, an internship, an extracurricular plus school, right? Yeah. And still there was nothing I found that I really wanted to do. Nothing that sparked any kind of actual joy. Like this is what I want to do. And since the fashion industry is so competitive, I didn't want to be toiling away at the bottom for years. One, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and then two, working my way up the corporate ladder in whatever it is that I did. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, it's getting really hot in here. So anyways, graduation rolls around. I still don't know what I'm doing, so I decided to take a gap year, and I teach English abroad in Spain. That's kind of like my gap year to try and figure out what I want to do, kind of just buy myself some more time and have a really cool experience, which it was. And while I was there, I thought, okay, what? I need to actually think about my future and what I want to do. So then I thought maybe I can go into x-ray tech, like be a radiologist. I have a lot of cousins who do that. It's only a two-year program. Um, law sparked an interest in me. I thought it would be really cool to be a lawyer and I actually did try studying for the entrance exam. That's just hard. <laughs> that shit's hard and it did not last forever obviously because I'm not a lawyer. So um, I eventually got into tech slash software slash IT through my brother and that is kind of what I do now. So Whenever people ask me, how did you get into what you do now? I always say, it's been like this. My path has not at all been linear. It has been very curvy, very roller coastery, which is fine. Um, and, and that is what I am trying to impress upon you. And that is what I'm trying to tell you to reassure you that whatever you do or don't do, it's okay because life will eventually, in the end, work itself out for you. You need to put in the time, you need to put in the effort, you need to put in the work, but in the end, it will be okay. And that is the bottom line here. So if you're stressing, cause I was stressing, I was stressing, it will be okay. It took me several years. And do I love what I do? No. <laughs> but do I like what I do? Yes. Do I find it interesting? Yes. It's an interesting challenge. It's been an interesting journey to get here, but I would not have changed any of it because I am okay with where I am now and I am okay with what I'm doing. I think it's interesting. It's a stable field. So with that background, all being said and done, what is my advice now? My advice to you is know that life is not linear. You are not going in a straight line. There are going to be detours. There are going to be twists and turns and roundabouts, but that is all part of the joy of life, right? Just being on the journey, being on the adventure. Also, life is not a race. Do not compare your life to other people's lives, people you see on the internet, your family, your friends. You are living your life for you, not for other people. So go at your own pace. Don't feel bad if your life is, is not uh, the life you want to have right now compared to how your friends are living their lives right now because they're on a completely different ride than you like they're on splash mountain and you're on space mountain i'm trying to think of other disneyland rides i can't really think of any but that's <laughs> but my point is like they have completely different circumstances to you so whatever is happening to them is not going to apply to you so comparing yourself to them is completely unfair to you and your feelings and invalidates your experiences you know what I'm saying also I have in my notes people have different priorities some people prioritize their careers 
Some people prioritize getting married, having kids, starting a family, all of that stuff. Some people prioritize traveling. And so that is why you should not compare yourself and your experience and your life to other people. Also, and this is a good one, this is an important one, that even I have had trouble coming to terms with and accepting. Life is getting harder now. It is more expensive to be alive. It is more competitive out there. And so trying to just get by, let alone thrive, is getting harder. I said to one of my friends semi-recently, because she is my age, she's still living at home, she's still trying to get her bearings in life, right? 30s are the new 20s. Whereas your 20s were your time after your teens to figure out your life and your teens were your time to fuck around. Your 20s are now your time to figure out your life and fuck around before you reach your 30s. One, because life is getting harder and you need more time to adjust, to figure out what you're doing, to get your feet under you. Your 30s are your new 20s. Your 30s are now the time where you will be able to gain stability, to get your feet under you, to have more of a stable path ahead of you. Does that make sense? You need more time to figure out what to do with your life. You know, more people in their 20s now are living with their parents than ever before because it's so difficult and you need to cut yourself that slack. I mean, not everyone can live with their parents, but no matter what situation you are in right now, cut yourself the slack because it is so much harder now than it was in the early 2000s, in the 90s, when our parents were young and our age. You know what I'm saying? I only have a few minutes, <laughs> but one of my last couple of points is, which is kind of in tandem to my last point, you have time. Like I said, your 30s are the new 20s. You don't need to rush. You can take the time to figure out what it is you really want to do to kind of figure out your life path without placing such unnecessary pressure on yourself to get your shit together. Obviously, everyone's situation is going to be different and not everyone can afford that same luxury. But to some degree, cut yourself some slack. Know that it's tough. It's tough out there. It really is tough out there. Especially now with the rental crisis and the housing crisis we're experiencing and inflation. Yeah, it do be tough out there. It really do be tough out there. Next point, career changes are possible. Because, and I read an article about this, I read a lot of articles, but because we're living so much longer, if retirement is at 65, you can switch careers at 45 and still have 20 years in that job before you retire. And 20 years in that profession is a long time. So whatever you're doing right now, you don't have to do that for your entire working career because if you start working when you graduate which is typically 22 right and you uh retire at 65 that's like 40 years to do the same thing how fucking boring right if you want to do that and if that is what you have done good for you <laughs> if that is what you want to do but if you are someone who is just in a job to have a job who is in a career to just have a career you don't have to do that forever that is something my brother thought when he got into tech and IT it's not something he would like to do forever um, is what I do something I would like to do forever I don't know it's something I wouldn't mind doing forever that's for sure but if something else came along I would take it and that's okay and I can because I have my whole life ahead of me I have so many decades to work to change what I want to do think of it as an opportunity something undiscovered something that might happen that is cool because you know you won't have to be stuck in the same rut forever right okay 
last couple of points here. One, life is unexpected, but you'll figure it out eventually. Life, like I said, full of twists and turns, right? Like mine. <laughs> and I'm still only in my 20s. I have decades ahead of me, right? But through all of that, this is so cliche, but it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I was about to say it's not about the journey, it's about the destination. Wait, what? <laughs> so delirious. It is about the journey, not the destination. So just take life as it is, right? And last point, sometimes you might just need to settle on something, which is kind of what I did. I kind of settled on this. I don't love it, like I said, but I like it. But then my point continues. If you have a passion slash dream, keep at it and work hard. This is what freaking YouTubers and influencers and, and all the high-end fashion creative directors are doing. They kept at it and they worked hard. I mean, obviously, of course, I need to caveat this. Everyone's experiences are different. Where they start is different, but you know, if where you're at now is just a stepping stone to what you want to do later, whether what you're doing now is related to what you want to do later or not, what you're doing now is not forever. It doesn't have to be forever. If you want it to be forever, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. And that's my point. So I am done here. <laughs> I am done talking. I am boiling. So this needs to be done. <laughs> And I still have all of this left because I haven't been talking. I haven't been drinking while I've been talking. But my bottom line is it will be okay. This is literally what I have written down. Bottom line, it will be okay. And, and, and that's really what I'm trying to assure you of. If you have just graduated, you are still young. You still have time. Explore. Take your youth and take advantage of it. Make mistakes explore all the opportunities available to you travel take a break you know do what i did and explore and travel you know there there are so many opportunities out there that you don't need to be fixated and worrying about what to do with the rest of your life because the rest of your life is a long time frankly if you're graduating in your mid to early 20s you still have in just your working life, 40 years. In your whole lifetime, if the life expectancy is now like 80 years old, you have 60 more years to do whatever you want. And I personally love thinking about it like that because there's so many things to do out in the world, especially now, that where you are right now doesn't have to be where you will be in 10 years even, let alone 30 years you know what I'm saying so that is all I have for you I am literally sweating like dripping with sweat I am literally sweating that's how hot it is it's finally warming up in California in Southern California so I'm done here if you take away one thing from this video and from my conversation with you it is that <laughs> it'll be okay and that's and that's really really all it is is that you will be okay darling speaking as someone who has gone through it yeah but I'm gonna go um, it is 2 10 I need to take a shower and get ready for this birthday party also there is a mail truck sitting like 10 spaces to my left and I feel like maybe the driver has been judging me talking to uh, something he can't even see so I'm gonna go but I hope this has helped even one person who has watched this because I know I was stressing when I graduated. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.